since you're super okay. busy, obviously doing your show, My Killer Body. Um, it just yes. premiered actually on Lifetime and I, I've heard so many great things about it because the show features men and women who are actually desperate to reverse their plastic surgery procedures that are now threatening their lives. So we mm -hmm. all know that this is deeply personal for you. What is it like shooting this show and meeting all these people? You know, this is my baby. This is a show that I developed like probably like three years ago. Mm -hmm. I held it like different networks, different things. I wanted it to go to the right place. Yeah. It landed at Lifetime because I think they understood what I was trying to do. Mm. This show, I've had some surgery issues and things like that. And I've been so open about it. I even talked to you about it yeah. when I was on The Real last time. Yeah. So I wanted to do something that told the truth. We are always tucking things and hiding things in the business. So and I'm always very loud yeah. and very opinionated about what goes on. So I wanted to tell people the absolute truth. There are consequences in these surgeries or in these silicone injections. Yeah. It's not what you see on a Photoshop picture right. on Instagram. Yeah. How are you doing now? I know you did inform us then that you mm -hmm. were feeling sick and you were going through so much. How are you doing now? This is the best. I think I've been doing in like three years. I am a year and a half out of my last surgery. Okay. And um, that's just amazing to see, you know, that I can do all the things that I wanted to do yeah. and you don't take them for granted anymore. That's Every right. single day of your life is important to you. Yeah. So that's where I'm at and the place I'm in mentally. That is really, really honest. You know what? I watched your show and I had to do this a couple of times because I'm a big chicken. Uh, <laughs> but I think what you're doing is really, really great for a lot of women. It's so good and so needed. Yeah. You're someone who looks, uh, whose looks are always obviously under the microscope. Does that ever affect you emotionally? Absolutely. Like, people say the craziest things about me. And anything for a headline or a clickbait mm -hmm. or something, it's so crazy. And I think because I've always been so vocal, people think I'm tough. Yeah, I'm tough, but I don't want to have to be tough every single day to people's scrutiny. Amen. And now I've learned to kind of post and go or gone about my business because every single day they're going to put a new surgery on me. Every single day they're gonna say, oh, she did this, she did that. And it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous at this point. So I just say it's gonna be what it's gonna be. And it's nothing you can do about it. We're in the social media era who does not have empathy. They do not care and they do not understand. So I try to keep it moving a lot on social media. I hear that. I hear you.